Hey guys, this is Anita. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my January wrap up and February TBR. I completed only three books in January and I'm in the middle of two books. I have two days left in this month, but I don't think I'll be able to finish any of those two books. So I decided to combine both of these videos and talk about them in just one video. The first book I finished was The Escapement by KJ Parker, third book in Engineer Trilogy. I love this book. I mean, I don't like the ending. None of the characters got the ending I wanted, but that's usual with Parker. But I'm amazed with what Parker did in this book. He made me like a despicable character. No one would have made me like this character other than Parker. Such a despicable human being. Easily one of the most complex characters I have seen in fantasy. I don't want to get into the plot of this book because it is the final book in the trilogy and every book has what? So whatever I say, even if I mention character names, it will definitely spoil. But it has some amazing scenes, amazing interactions between characters it also has some flaws i don't like the arcs of female characters and i don't like the main character actually all parker's main characters are very intelligent and we see that in their actions in this trilogy also we see his intelligence in action but he also relied on luck a lot and the way he planned everything the way he schemed it was too much for me to believe that he actually did that. Does that make sense? He was intelligent, but he was too intelligent for me to believe. I want believable intelligent if it makes sense. Anyway, I don't want to say more than that. I am planning to do a deep dive video talking about these characters. So I'll talk about all the characters in that video. I like this book. I gave it 4.5 stars. I highly recommend it, but just keep in mind it is very slow paced and there is a lot of theory about making weapons and making facts. And the next book I finished was Bookshops and Bondest by Travis Paltry. I finally finished this. I started this in November actually. When it came out, I had the Ned Galley arc, audiobook arc. And I listened to I think 10 chapters. I was in slump. I didn't feel like uh, listening. So I put it away and I re-listened it in January and I completed it. I like this one, not as much as Legends and Lattes, but it's a good story in that world. I gave Legends and Lattes 5 stars. This is 4.25 stars for me. Main character Viv was stuck in a small village because of the injury. So she gets bored and starts roaming and meet new people. That's the first half of this book and I loved it actually. I loved meeting these new characters. It still has the charm. I felt in Legends and Lattice. Second half is about dangers these characters face, dangers this small village has. I like that but not as much as the first half. I think I really like the way Balri introduces his new characters and bring them into the story, bring them into Viv's life and the bond she shares with those characters. So I preferred that. I wanted more of that actually. So I did not care about this problem and the magic in the second part but I did not mind that it's not bad at all actually in one of the new characters is a bookshop owner so she introduces Viv to reading I really like that actually Viv finding new books I definitely recommend it to people who loved Legends and Lattice and the next book I finished was Shards of Earth by Aiden Tchaikovsky I loved this book it's been so long since I read a Tchaikovsky book I think last year February or March I read his novella and put away childish things that's all I did not read anything after that and that's such a mistake because I can't tell you how much joy I felt while reading this book. It's so easy to get into Adrian Tchaikovsky books even though they involve aliens and different planets. Actually, this is my first sci-fi by him. So location may have changed, world may have expanded, but actual themes, I can clearly see Tchaikovsky's signature in that. It starts with an action scene. We are in the middle of war in the prologue with this moon-sized being called Architect. It is destroying, not actually destroying, it is reshaping each planet one after another. 
and in the process obviously the living beings on the planet are dying already around 70 years back earth was destroyed so refugees are living on different planets now after 70 years all aliens came together and fight against this architect and actually win None of this is spoilers. This actually happened in prologue. I was completely hooked by the end of the prologue. First chapter actually starts 50 years after the prologue. After winning the war, we follow the ship's crew and the problems they face. This is actually a salvage ship. They get hired to recover a ship which is lost. So they recover that ship and get involved in a problem. From there, it's a chase between different planets and different alien politics. Through their journey, we got to know about different alien races, what role they play. I loved the political intrigue we got. I loved each and every single character. I loved the friendship and loyalty themes. Found family trope done at its best. And the writing top notch, especially in the last three chapters. The themes Tchaikovsky covered in this last three chapters just fantastic. In between, I hovered around 4.5 stars, but at the end, it was instant 5 stars. I didn't even have to think about it. So good. A couple of people mentioned that it is similar to Firefly. If that's your thing, don't miss it. Actually, someone said that this is a better Firefly book than Firefly books. So those are the three books I finished. So coming to the books I'm continuing, first book is I, Claudius by Robert Graves. This is a buddy read with Alan in his Discord. I think almost everyone finished it. I'm the last one. Alan liked it. Even Kyle liked it. But couple of people DNF'd it. I can see why actually we should have some knowledge of Roman history to read this book, which I did not have. I read only Augustus by John Williams and Cicero Trilogy by Robert Harris. This is a good continuation book after reading Cicero. It's definitely not as easy as Cicero Trilogy for me to get through it. Cicero Trilogy reads like a political thriller whereas this reads like a history text. I definitely need more time to get through this but I am loving it. At the time of filming this, I am 100 pages in and I think already five people were poisoned so it's definitely not at all boring i am completely entertained if that's the right word to use it every few pages i was like what 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 i'm not sure if i can finish this by the end of this month but my focus will be on this for sure and the next book i'm in the middle of is the forest of enchantments by chitrabanaji divakruni this is the retelling of indian epic tale ramayana i read many stories about ramayana i watched many shows and movies about ramayana there is this character which goes to forest i cry every time when I see that scene or when I read about it and it's the same case here also. I cried a lot and I stopped at that point. I'm halfway through it. I think I'm around 150 pages into it. It is so good but at the same time I know what's coming next. So I am postponing it. I keep postponing it but I'll definitely finish it after I Claudius. If you are into retellings, don't miss this book. Now actual February TBR. It's actually tricky. First two books are easy. They are buddy reads. From there it gets tricky. So the first book I am planning to read is Eyes of the Void by Adrian Tchaikovsky which is second book in Final Architecture series. As I said, I loved the first book, Chairs of Earth. I loved these characters. I already miss these characters. I cannot way to read another adventure with them so this is definitely happening and the next book on my tbr is the forgotten beasts of eld i'm not sure if that's the correct way to pronounce it's by patricia mckellip tori from tori talks is doing this thing called cosmic footsteps where she is reading one book each month by a female author from 70s 80s and before that in january she read daughter of the forest which i missed because of my commitments. In February, she is reading this. I heard good things about this book, so I'm not missing this. This is a standalone and it's only around 300 pages. This is about a girl called Sibyl who has grown up on a mountain. Animals on that mountain are her friends. One day, a man comes and gives her a child to raise. So it's about the bond she forms with that kid and how that changes her life. Looking forward to read this book. 
and the next three books on my tbr are tentative i'm not sure if they happen or not which i'll pick the first one is a lot of light by robert jalasny i hope that's how we pronounce his name anyway i first saw this book in jonas best books video the image on that book is a hindu god so i got curious and added this book to my tbr and then i saw varsha's video recently talking about a buddy read of this book in the beginning of the february so i messaged varsha asking details i want to read this book along with varsha and her friends and then i saw tori's announcement of the buddy read of forgotten bees of elf i want to read that book so i added that so if i have time i will read this as well this is a sci fantasy book if i understand correctly earth was dead and on a planet band of men become immortals and rule as gods only one man opposes them siddhartha in history actually siddhartha becomes buddha and founded buddhism but in this book siddhartha becomes mahasamatman i'm not sure i can't even understand my own writing i noted it down i can't read this now this will be interesting i'm not sure how much it follows the actual history and how much it is fiction so next two i cannot decide at all i'll decide based on how much time i have first one is tyrant's law by daniel abraham book 3 in dagran coin i keep pushing it for other buddy reads i feel like i'm cheating on this series which i love and the next one is way of kings by sanderson oh my god how can i forget that anyway i still did not decide whether to start stormlight dark cave or not but it is time to decide at the end of february if i start this at the end of february that means it will happen if i don't start then i am not starting stormlight dark cave so i'll decide at the end of february we'll know in my february wrap up i hope i did not forget anything so if i commit to any buddy read with you and you don't see that book in this video please let me know in comments and let me know what you are planning to read in february please like comment and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye